All right, so who remembers this sexy looking dude? Or this guy, wow. Well, to be honest, I used to be one of those guys. To be fair, I was kind of more like this guy, a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more presentable, and to be honest with you, way more prepared than the guys that used to sell cars in the good old days. So I used to be a salesman, and uh, not only did I used to be just a salesman, I was the number one salesperson at uh, both facilities that I worked at. Um, these two dealerships were international and globally recognized. They were huge. Uh, we had about 12 salespeople uh, in each division, and I was the number one guy. So, you know, that being said, that's quite an accomplishment all things considered it's not the easiest thing to do or accomplish but you know there's a there's a price to be paid for everything um, while I worked there like I, I, I did enjoy meeting new people and I made a lot of friends and uh, I sold a lot of vehicles to family members uh, and their friends uh, at times I had lots of fun uh, and it's you know it's always exciting driving around new vehicles or you know cool used vehicles that come in you get to drive all kinds of sorts of vehicles and it can be kind of fun and it, it can be kind of rewarding at some times um, in addition to that because I was the number one guy I received like numerous bonuses um, I got to drive uh, cars of my choice most of the time and uh, you know there's there's lots of uh, lots of uh, bonuses that come along with that sort of thing. Um, most of my customers were satisfied because you know I, I treated them well. Um, they usually sent their relatives and friends to come see me, and uh, it just kind of started the snowball rolling. And you know, for a few years, it was it was a lot of fun and it was pretty lucrative. So most people ask me, and well, actually, most people that are in the industry uh, that I worked with uh, would ask me, like, how how did I sell so many? Um, well, at the time, I just treated people with respect. I didn't pressure anybody. Uh, I was relatively friendly. You know, I tried not to be fake. I had a lot of fun. I always let my personality kind of shine through. And I always tried to make a good deal um, for the customer and myself so that, you know, the, the, the dealership can make a little bit of money and the customer's happy with the price. And that's regardless of the pressure, the incredible pressure that management in a car dealership uh, puts on you. Uh, the pressure is, is ridiculous. It's nonstop. It's every day, all day. It's outside of hours. It's within hours. Um, so, you, you know, it, it, it sounds like a pretty good gig, right? But uh, it, like I said, there's a cost to be paid with everything. And there's, there's some reasons why I don't sell cars anymore. Um, the number one reason that I could come up with is that, you know, the, the dealership tries to sell the customers and you um, that, you know, they want you to be happy when you purchase your vehicle. You know, it's a, it's a big deal and they try to sell you the point that, hey, we're here to make you happy and we want you to be, um, you know, extremely satisfied with your purchase. That is the biggest lie I've ever heard. Uh, a dealership's goal and only goal like any other business in the world is to make money lots of money all day every day like I mentioned the dealership pressures the salespeople to get the sale at all cost they train sales people to be psychological warriors it's true and the salespeople, they are. They're, they're, in my opinion, they're like assassins. Um, it's, there's so much information to share with you guys. Um, and it just kind of brings me to the first kind of tip or secret that I want to share with everybody. And it's a long one, and it's an important one, and people just don't understand this. Salespeople are trained assassins from day one. They spend numerous and countless hours, days, 
weekends, uh, sometimes on their own time, training on how to convince you, the unsuspecting customer, to buy a vehicle from them. They are the Tony Robbins of motivating you to buy the vehicle at any cost. Just to kind of, you know, give you a metaphor, just think of how you feel when you put on and listen to your favorite song or look at old pictures of good memories. What happens? Your mood is lifted. You feel better. Lots of positive endorphins are racing through your body. You feel great. It's kind of the same like when you feel after you watch a very good motivational video or a Tony Robbins video. You feel motivated and you feel energized. The car dealership and every car dealership knows this and understands this psychology. They constantly and consistently are researching, developing, developing and learning and practicing new techniques in order to get you the unsuspecting customer to buy. They practice and drill these techniques daily to perfection. You guys have no idea how much we practice. They understand what colors trigger certain emotional responses and subsequently use the colors throughout the entire dealership. For instance, the main showroom is usually very bright with nice lights and colors. These lights are vibrant, the colors are vibrant, and they're often used to trigger or make you feel excited and energized. This gets you in just the right mind frame and the right mood and the right energy to just even consider buying. You've just been psychologically primed at that time to start the car buying process whether you like it or not or whether you're aware of it or not. Sometimes bright balloons and uplifting music uh, is played to further get you again excited and in the mood. These, these, you know, they study this as well. Normally, the showroom is usually neat and organized with cars, signs, desks, um, etc. You know, um, strategically placed to herd you into the right direction, like you guessed it, like sheep. They're leading you to the drink the poison Kool-Aid, so to speak. <laughs> and I hate to use that analogy, but that's what they do. They get you in the door, everything's kind of set up where it's supposed to be set up, and you know, you're you're blinded by the bright lights and the nice sounds and the and everyone's looking great these days and, and looks proper and presentable and very they're very sophisticated. By the time you even say hi to the first highly trained salesperson assassin, you're already um, you know considering subconsciously buying something. You just don't know it. We'll go into that further details in, 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 in the videos to come. For now, let's focus on the assassins and their sort of psyops that they, they, they pull on you without you even know it. Once you decide on the vehicle you have you know fallen in love with and can't live without, you are handed off strategically to the next assassin, the delivery agent or the additional needs specialist. They are the ones that basically convince you that you need some extra goodies um, to put on your vehicle. So they kind of herd you over um, to an area that has lots of, you know, um, goodies for your vehicle like a trailer hitch or um, tires or special lighting or, or or rims or anything that you can think of that you might want on your vehicle um, and they, they you know they, they they do this you know so that you're you just excited and you feel like you're in a toy store and you you know it's fun to just to just look at the stuff and touch the stuff but the one thing they don't talk about is money at all. They are trained to not talk about money and they also try and get you to 
fall into the trap of not talking about money either. They say things like, you know, let's not, this is not the time to talk about that right now. And if it's something that you can't afford, you know, let's just, let's just pick a couple of, you know, two or three items um, that, you know, if, if you had the money, what would you like to see on your vehicle? That doesn't mean that you have to add it on the vehicle, but let, you know, let's just, is there anything here that you wish you could have on the vehicle? And, you know, maybe our finance guys could work something out, but just for fun, let's just pick a couple. And bam, they got you picking items that you don't even want. It's just, it's part of the game and that's, that's kind of just what they do. You know, they, they, they talk about putting on, you know, maybe a, maybe a trailer hitch, you know, so you guys can, in the future, you might, you might want to get a camper and you got to tow that thing around and put a trailer hitch on there and, and the kids are going to love it. Um, you know, they have all, they have all kinds of tricks and, and, uh, uh, verbiage that they use to just to just get you to kind of play the game and to have fun and then not really worry about money and by the time you get to this stage they've already been informed by the salesperson on what the salesperson thinks you're probably going to be interested in regardless of you actually wanting to buy it and again that's just part of the process by by the time you get to this person um, they've already got you figured out they're just they're just leading you to the trough to drink because they they already know what you want and they're just getting you to kind of uh, uh, to reaffirm that that you like those things it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna buy them but they want you to reaffirm um, that you like them and they want you to just keep to keep reiterating that in your mind so that by the time you get to the end you already you, you can't live without them um, so you know again like once they once they've got all your toys figured out and all the all the your new essential needs that you need to add on your vehicle that you you can't live without um, they then kind of heard you back off again to the uh, the final assassin, and that's the finance office or the F and I office or manager. And uh, this is a long process. And just when you think you're you're safe, <laughs> the F and I manager has got you. <laughs> and most people just assume that they are just wrapping things up. And that you were there just to sign some papers and documents. Well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> this last, uh, I don't know, assassin has been waiting and preparing for you since you walked into the dealership. And they have a whole bunch of goodies and psychological tactics to hit you up with. Oh, man. But don't, you know, don't get too fearful or... or or worried about this because I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you how to deal with each one of these people so that you can sort of defend yourself and hopefully save yourself thousands of dollars um, your hard-earned dollars and and you know uh, my hard-earned dollars because I buy vehicles as well you know it's it's an, it's important not to get taken uh, advantage of from these people um, so just to reiterate, um, this is the number one biggest secret or tip, and that is just knowledge. Not knowledge in the sense of, oh, do your homework or get a couple of quotes or, you know, stuff like that. That stuff is empty. That stuff doesn't mean anybody. Most people know to do that stuff. Um, to have this kind of knowledge is very powerful. The number one secret is knowing that they are planning for you. They are preparing for you. They are practicing. They are doing this 100% of the time. They are not just sitting around waiting to see if someone is going to feel like buying a car from them. They have everything planned out to the greatest detail. I can't stress this enough. Um, this is this is the best tip that you can go into with. You don't you know don't go in there thinking that these guys are just shoe salesmen and you're walking in there and you want to try on shoes. It doesn't work like that. They're planning. They're preparing. They're practicing. They do this all day, every day, weekends, evenings, for years, trying to figure out 
how to manipulate you without you knowing that you're being manipulated and it's quite a skill it's an incredible skill when you see a good um, car salesman in action um, it's incredible to see now remember we're not talking about the old school greasy guys smoking cigars and, and smacking you on the butt and high-fiving you and stuff like that it's not like that anymore um, it's it's very psychological um, it's highly scripted um, but unlike a script that like you don't even know that the person is 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 basically speaking to you like they're reading from a script because they've done it millions of times it sounds natural for every response that you have they have a response and without even getting into that stuff we're gonna get into that stuff in further details and break it down more but again the biggest thing you need to know and 99.99 percent of people just think oh car salesmen are you know they're jerks or they're this or they're that and it's not that that's that's not the point you need to be aware of you need to be aware of um, it, it's like going into like a, a, a baseball game or or you uh, you know starting golf and wanting to play against like you know Tiger Woods when he was in his prime you're up against somebody who you just walked in the door or onto the golf course and you want to swing a club against this guy this guy's been doing it for 20 years or 10 years or whatever and he has received you know numerous hours of training on top of that you have no chance at all unless you're at least aware that his only function there is not to make friends it's not to make you happy it's to make the sale and that's it I can't stress it enough so um, I hope this helps some of you guys out I think it's the most important tip in the world uh, you know I'm not sugarcoating it uh, it's not empty like you know there's lots of other tips out there but you need to understand the psychology of it it's what's going to help you um, get the best buy and the best value for your money um, hands down every time and with this knowledge you're going to go in and at least you'll be aware of uh, what's happening and when you do go in you know look around and uh, uh, you'll see this stuff, you'll notice this stuff, you'll hear this stuff, and you'll be like, oh my god, I can't believe that person just said that. I would have never even questioned them saying that, but now that I'm aware that it's all a plan, it's all a game, it's it's all tactics, and you become you become you know enlightened in the in the uh, uh, car buying world. So um, yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, please like and, like and subscribe to my videos. I'm going to come out with a bunch of more tips that you're, you're honestly just not going to believe them. Uh, but they're, they're going to be incredible. It's all insider information. It's all my information. And I'm just trying to help you guys out because, uh, you know, I think, I think uh, purchasing anything should be fair for the manufacturer uh, or the selling agent and with, and with the buyer. Everybody should be happy when they're done. And, and not just happy because they've been psychologically brainwashed. Or, or bent over, uh, but happy because, you know, they really got a good deal. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.